That's what I'm going on this afternoon. A lot of the boys broke their back going out of here, okay? But she said he's gonna get pretty shaky. I'm off here by myself. Alright guys, welcome. We are having a ride on this today. Yep, we are going in the Lancaster. My dad just bought me a ticket. It was quite expensive, but uh, we're going to get the full schwack. We're going to get a full tour. Everything about it, and I get to sit in there. Probably going to grab a gunner seat at the top if I can, or the tail. And I'm going to get go up and down the, the the actual runway, the airfield on it. It's a full day on today. We were seeing tanks firing all sorts. That should already be out. There's lots of stuff going on. But we are going in that plane, and we're going up and down the runway. How awesome is that? That's what I'm going on this afternoon. My name's Liz, I know because I've got a badge, very good looking. I am the safety officer on board the Lancaster. So when we get inside the aircraft, it's my job to make sure that you and the aircraft are safe. So if I shout at you at any stage, don't take it personally. I'm just trying to make sure you're not going to hurt yourself or break anything. The aircraft is 78, okay, so just be careful where you're going. in for the taxi ride okay so I've got 10 positions that you can see out of and I've got one that you can't does anyone not want to see out I don't know why I bother asking really it's not like <laughs> I'm okay um, we will then do two or three runs past the crowd I think the wind stays in the east we'll end up once again down the far end or right hand side we'll do the high noise run which emulates the first five ten seconds of a takeoff run we will stop comfortably before we run off the field up on the, on the left hand side. Wayne, Nick, David, Simon. Mind your heads, gents, especially when you're turning right. Here, isn't it? <laughs> and then I get, I'll get out of the way, then you right. can spill into, go a little bit more, yeah. that's it, you can spill into that gap now out of the way. So this is the, don't sit on the table. Keep yeah. Right. As I said, we've got we've got 20 minutes, so there's no rush. But uh, it will work that when the when we're ready to change, whoever's in the nose will come out. Pilot seat going to the nose. Someone to the pilot seat. Yeah. And we'll yeah. Rip around. Right. As I say, when you're in the pilot seat, Alan is out the window. He'll he'll take you. He's in the crowd because they park their own so far forward. Oh. A lot bigger on a films, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. How much did these bloody things carry in bombs? Only a couple of tonnes, or 20 tonnes, 100 tonnes? Five tonnes. Six thousand, was it 10,000 pounds? That's a big boom. Two, two, five tonnes. Five tonnes, yeah. You coming out? Yeah. Oh, hello. Shuffle. You're going in, I'm going down there, yeah. Yes, you are going out there, you know. Yeah, you went in there right, you come out sweating on yeah. <laughs> 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 Two eighty flat out, yeah? Yeah. Jeez. 
So jump on there once we come out, so we do a swap. Shall I go down there then? Yeah, you're down there. Yeah, well I think. Dude, now. Not for you. You need your parachute in a minute if you go any further out of there, man. Beautiful. <laughs> Look at this. What's that? My moment of glory, and everyone bugging off. <laughs> You're going for a drink, man. Yeah. That's probably because you've got machine guns down there. <laughs> <laughs> and your missus thought you were telling the truth. Let me fight now. Wasn't it? Oh. The sight of the gun. Oh, dropping the bombs. Drop the bombs. Yeah, yeah, big it's periscope thing, like you yeah. look over the target. Yeah. yeah. Tell them when to drop it. It's me mate now. <laughs> oh yeah, this looks cool. Oh, man. That dude's gonna be sat down here while it's moving, man. <laughs> That's gonna be warm, isn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a gunner seat above you. This is the bomber Where you are, sir. Right, Richard, make your way forward. Anthony, make your way forward. Edward, see you later when we get back, ladies and gentlemen. No worries. Right, Simon, put yourself in there for me. You're last in. Sir Robert, come on down. You're going to put yourself there, sir. Don't touch that bar there. And my last gentleman, swing on down. Join the party. Is it toasty up the front? Oh, yeah. It's lovely. Does anyone want any water? Yeah, I'm fine. You sure? Oh, okay. I'll give it away. Right then, gentlemen. <laughs> What we're going to do is you are all going to get the opportunity, should you wish to do so, to get down into that rear toilet for a few moments. It's not compulsory for anyone except Simon because you've got Yeah. Okay, <laughs> and for your name also? Wayne. Wayne, who's my demonstration model. There's a sweetie in it for you, Wayne. Right? Okay. Yeah, it's not oh, See, you don't get anything from that. Okay. Now, back right, make your way forward, gents, please. All the way to the cockpit. Back in the day, just where Wayne is standing, attached to that bottom bulkhead, would have been the Elsan Chemical Lavatory. Oh, nice. Non-flushable. Oh, it's a four-point pot in a metal cage with a wooden lid. Oof. Now, notice I did not mention a seat. This is a standing-up operation only. Nice. You must make sure the lid is secure at all times, otherwise when we take off, it's going to make a right mess. Not only that, Wayne would have used it as a step up to get on the back. So if Robert's left the lid open, he is literally going to put his foot in there. Not a great start to the mission, sir. Okay? Wayne would get himself down the back nice and comfy, and away we would go. That's not how we're doing it today. Wayne, you're going to sit on that cushion facing me, sir. Mind your head above you. That's me. You're now going to spin yourself round, sir. Feet first towards the tail. All the way to, now then, all the way to the bottom. You're going to put your feet in first, duck your head in, and then pull your bottom onto the seat. Feet, head, bum. I chose the easy seat then. Oh, wow, look at that. Okay, keep going, Wayne. You're not far enough in yet. I'm not. No, keep going. Shuffle, shuffle. Now then, Wayne, are you crushing your nicky-nacky news? 
Good. That means he's because in properly. Because that's what tells the tail gunner he's far enough in. Relax, sir. <laughs> Reason and being, I'm gonna gents. Be moving with okay. that, yeah. No, you won't be. Okay. <laughs> Reason being, gents. Wayne would now be closing a pair of metal doors behind his back from inside the turret called the blast doors. They will not shut today. Two jobs. Number one is to stop Wayne falling out when we turn the turret round. You don't want to get to Germany to find you've lost him in the North Sea. <laughs> More importantly, those doors would be there to stop little bits of Wayne coming inside should that turret become compromised. Oh, yeah, that this is a fully mechanical members. aircraft. Anything stops those parts moving, we are going to head straight towards the ground. Yes. Okay? On his way to the tail, at the far end of this cushion, which is not original gents, it's there for your comfort, okay, there would have been a second set of doors which he would also close behind him, called the draft doors. They are there to do two jobs as well. Number one, limit the circulation of cold air. You've seen the gaps, nothing fits. If it's raining outside, it's raining inside, okay? <laughs> Those doors are also your fire doors, made of balsa wood. It is a design feature, admittedly. They have a 90 second burn through time. Oh, wow, yeah. Wayne would be in the turret anywhere between six to 11 hours at a time, depending on the mission. He is the first man off the ground, last man down, only being allowed out on three occasions. And when I let you, okay, Wayne? Yeah. So you just sit there, good lad. <laughs> Number one, we all make it back safely in time for breakfast. Number two, at the express permission of the pilot, he can go to the facilities. But if the pilot says no, then I'm afraid Wayne goes where he sits. That will warm him up for a couple of seconds before it then freezes to him for the rest of the trip. Nice. A lot of the boys carried milk bottles and they'd fill them up, spin it round, open the doors and chuck them out the back. <laughs> Finally, evacuation. How do we get him out in an emergency? Two methods. A simple method, which I will explain, and a slightly more difficult one, which Wayne will demonstrate for us. That's why he gets a sweetie, okay? On the order to evacuate then, first thing he does, he opens the doors behind his back. He would then reach back into the fuselage with his left hand. And on the side of the aircraft, there would have been a box. And on his way to the tail, Wayne would have placed his parachute in that box. Mm. Because the only man on board who wears his parachute is the pilot. He sits on it. The rest of you, you've got to get to them first. And they're all stowed on the starboard side next to your <coughs> position. Okay? The parachute goes on the front. And once he's got it on, Wayne gets back into the turret. Then with the doors open, he will turn that turret either fully left or right till the doors are hanging out past the tail. And all he then has to do is flip out backwards, pulling the parachute ripcord as he goes, hoping that his boots stay on. Oh, Often God. they get caught in the metalwork. <laughs> That's insane. What if it doesn't move? The hydraulics are frozen because of the temperature, or they've been cut by enemy fire. Then there's only one other way of getting Wayne out. Are you ready, sir? Yeah. I would like you to duck and shuffle back to us on your bottom, please. Mind your head. Now, bearing in mind, he's cold and stiff. He's been sat there for hours, and it's pitch black. He's got to get the wooden doors open. We're tumbling through the sky. We're on fire, and we're being shot at. Lift and duck, sir. Mind your head. That's it. Keep coming. Spin yourself round. And without grabbing the bars to the left-hand side, jump yourself down and stand still for me. Well done, Wayne. All right. Now, in theory, Wayne had four seconds to carry out that manoeuvre. He would practice it blindfold hundreds of times. Adrenaline would kick in. And don't forget, Wayne, you're 19 or 20 years old, just a couple of years younger than you are now. Okay. To get out then, <laughs> he would open the door and lie on his stomach in the doorway, allowing the tumbling momentum of the aircraft to throw him out, but more importantly, down. That's the tail. If you go out this door upright, you will not drop before the tail comes forward and hits you. A lot of the boys broke their back going out of here, okay? Panicked, went out, you've got to lie on your stomach. Thank you, sir. Robert, would you like to give it a go? Swaps his round. Okay. Fraser Nash made cars and motorbikes before the war, easily moving into war production. This is how it works in very simple terms there. As you can see, dead centre there is a control column with what appears to be a pair of motorbike handlebars on the top. And that's because they are a pair of motorbike handlebars. No way. To turn the turret left and right, it's like riding a bike. To elevate and depress the gun barrels, spin yourself around sir, you roll the handlebars forward, you roll them back. Triggers are at the back, and to relieve the uh, release the safety catch, you squeeze the handlebars together. Simple, isn't it? It's not going to do it today for you. <laughs> no worries. The turret will move 174 degrees side to side between the tails in three seconds hydraulically, nine if you need to do it by hand. There's a hand crank handle underneath the right hand machine gun. You cannot go the full 180 degrees, otherwise you'll shoot your tails off. Never a great idea. 
The black box on the horizontal bar at eye level is your gun sight, a deflector sight. The information inside is reflected up via light onto the plastic screen. The half moon dial that you see, that's there so that when you check your guns and zero them, you can set the point where the fire will converge from both of them, two, three, four hundred yards in front. Every fifth or tenth round would be a tracer round, either red or green, so you can see where it's going. The guns. Here we have two Browning 0.5 inch machine guns. Not the standard four 303s that you see in the films. 303s were rubbish. The 0.5 inch gave you a heavier firepower and a longer range. Trouble was everything weighed more, mm. so you get less ammunition. 1,550 rounds per gun. That will last you 1 minute 17 seconds. <laughs> and that's got to last your entire trip because we don't rearm the tail gunner. Everything on this lank is calculated for fuel and bombs. Everything else is extra, so you don't get it. That does not mean that you get out for tea and cake with Granville the trolley dolly up at the front though, because you're also the rear observation man. You will sit there directing the fire of the mid upper gunner and Edward the bomb aimer, who's also the nose gunner, to any threat that comes around the aircraft. German tactics are to come from behind, go under the wings and use upwardly firing 20mm cannon to shoot at your fuel tanks. It's called Schrager music or jazz music. So you really are vulnerable back here. You're the first person they come across. Are you giving it a go, sir? Yeah. yeah. Right, so Wayne, if you go in that direction yep. for me, sweetheart. Absolutely. And Robert as well. Unfortunately, the guns aren't working right now. But she said it's going to get pretty shaky. I'm up here by myself. Yeah. Now, this is actually off a natural bike, and that is how you pull the trigger on these, which is insane. So, that would be firing. And this fires for a total of one and a half minutes. Nice and cozy.
Listen outside, that was insane. Very shaky. Yeah. <laughs> it was good though. Awesome, thank you very much right? for that. That was that amazing. Right? You weren't yes. expecting to do that today, Simon. No, I wasn't actually. 
Thank you. Okay, thank you. Ooh, that's good, wasn't it? Holy moly. <laughs> yeah, boy. I told you I wouldn't die. <laughs> How was that, boy? That was sick. That was sick as hell. You should have been in there, man. That was vibrating like mad. Were you in the front up there or were you in yeah, the back? Yeah, awesome. You in that front bubble? Yeah, I was in the uh, back tail thing. Oh, but yeah. I was I was sat in that front one for the, for the while it wasn't moving and stuff. I you were, and and we all got to go in the cockpit and stuff. And then I went in the tail gunner oh, and I was right. waving. I was like, I zoomed in on you. I was like, look, there's me dad and my son. <laughs> so I was like, <laughs> but yeah, the whole thing was just like in the back and all the wires are shaking. But yeah, that was a sick experience. And then we thought he was going for it and then he really went for it and it was so loud and I felt all the propeller like backdraft up me and I was like, Jesus. And she was on about. The tail gunner using, he had to put on nine layers of clothes and stuff. Yeah. Actually, I had loads of stories. I filmed loads of it, so you'll be able to get to see all that. But yeah, ace experience, proper. Oh, oh yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, that was wicked. Dad. Yeah. I told Adam that you were in the back. Yeah, I was that. waving out there at you. Yeah. Did you I see saw, me? I thought, thought you were staying in the front, so I yeah. just filmed the front. Yeah, I'm yeah, we well, get to pick where you want, and she gives out the card. So if more than one of you want to sit somewhere, you have to pick the highest car wins. So, like, poker game. But I, um, she was like, tail gun, I was like, and he's like, gone inside me, and you're on a tail gun. I was like, sick. So, only one, no contested. I won't know anybody else. I had it all to myself oh, at the back. Really? So, yeah, I loved it. Great experience. Well done. That was ace. Thanks for that. That was sick. Right. It was just in that. So, yeah, that's like obviously one in a lifetime or so. The guy, well, I say that, the guy that won the raffle spent yeah. a fiver on tickets yeah. and he got put in where he can't see anything, but he's, still, but he's been on it before. So, <laughs> he got bloody twice, man. <laughs> But it, yeah, it was ace. But yeah, that's the end of that. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next one.